Tonight, a father in Washington is suing a boarding school in Utah after his 17-year-old daughter died. The family attorney says the school neglected her and failed to give her the care that she needed after she'd complained about stomach pains for weeks. Just days before Christmas, the teen collapsed. Fox 13 News reporter Alejandra Guzman joins us now in studio. And you spoke with this girl's father and the attorney. So what are they telling you tonight? David, Jamie, I can tell you that he's devastated. Now, this is the loss that we obtained. And I can tell you, Taylor Goodridge even missed a Christmas meeting with her family as she sat in the sick bay. Still, the teen was told to take aspirin and, quote, suck it up. Her dad is now pleading for answers. She was just... She was so amazing and so had so much life still in her, and it was cut short. These are pictures of Taylor Goodridge over the years. Memories are all her family has left. Christmas and New Year's will never be the same. The 17-year-old, still a Guamish tribe member, was sent to Diamond Ranch Academy, a boarding school in Hurricane, Utah, in October of 2021. She was about to graduate at the end of the month. Her life cut short after she started complaining of stomach pains in November. I thought I sent her somewhere safe to get help. And my daughter got sent home in a box. Taylor collapsed December 20th after vomiting for five straight days and died from sepsis, according to her family's attorney, who says the school neglected to listen to her complaints. I'm thinking this is some nightmare that I'm going to wake up and she's going to be home, but it's not going to happen. Her father, Dean Jeffrey, says he spoke with her a couple of days prior and told him, too, she wasn't feeling well, but never imagined it would cost him his only daughter. Her dad filed a lawsuit against DRA. Taylor, a cheerleader and volleyball player, was healthy the last time he saw her in early November. But according to the lawsuit, she begged the DRA staff for help after having excruciating pain and collapsing in her own vomit. Her stomach became distended, noticeable to others. Her complaints reportedly ignored by staff. The lawsuit says she was told she was faking it and needed to suck it up. Negligence. Straight up negligence. I think the hardest part is she was, there was nobody there because we were told way too late like way too late. In following the directions, it ultimately probably cost her her life. We reached out to the school regarding the allegations. They sent us this statement. We are cooperating fully and transparently with the state of Utah as they investigate this tragedy. The safety of students is our number one priority and we are continually striving to provide the best care possible to students and families. It is a policy of Diamond Ranch Academy to not publicly comment on pending litigation. Attorney Alan Mortensen says Utah's Department of Health and Human Services placed the school on probation, prohibiting them from admitting new students. However, he says Taylor's death is not the only negligence case at DRA. His firm has sued the school before after a child committed suicide and another was allegedly beaten by staff and suffers from facial paralysis. I didn't I don't ever want to see Diamond Ranch ever open again. I want the person held responsible 100%. This is this is something that could have been taken care of. And she would still be here. She was my first princess and she always will be. And nothing in this world will ever replace her, ever. Now Taylor's remains are back home in Arlington. Her funeral services are pending, but she will be laid to rest in Stanwood next to family. This is a case we will follow closely. Back to you.